evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. Here with NBC horse racing analyst Bob Newmeyer, getting ready for the Preakness Stakes. You've done many of them. We'll be looking forward to your coverage on NBC. Uh, obviously, California Chrome, the real deal. Do you go against him? Do you go with him? What's your plan? I'm totally against him. Um, I'm a strictly a numbers guy. Have been. I'm a slave to the speed figures. And uh, although I love the story, I've had a chance to meet Art Sherman. And who wouldn't like the story? You know, when it comes down to it and you're a gambler, this is a prime opportunity to go against California Chrome. So I'm trying to find a way, my friend, to... Uh, to perhaps work some exactas and superfectas and trifectas and maybe uh, cash a big ticket because this is a rare opportunity because the numbers really drive the odds boards at most tracks and this is a case where he's so overhyped in my opinion really nice horse don't get me wrong but uh, this is a good opportunity I think to go elsewhere well it's three to five on the morning line what are, what are your binoculars telling you have you seen any well, horse out there you know <laughs> but the, the when, when the fog and the gloaming here in Baltimore today so I I do like to watch the horses in the morning and uh, and so my, my handicapping is, is speed figures number one and then, you know, try to figure out the pace number two and try to envision how the race will go. Try to, you know, when I'm at a track, I like to see how the horses move around. And, and I didn't get much of a chance to see it today because of the fog and all that stuff. So I would say, you know, speed figures and trying to figure it out and looking at the odds and plugging it in and hope to get lucky once out of every five times. And I'm a type of gambler that if I'm right once out of every five times, I'll make up for the times I'm wrong four out of the five times. That's how I look at it. I wish I could be right one out of every five. <laughs> I'm about a one out of every hundred. Well, you were at the Derby. Yes. So you saw that trip that Ride on Curlin got. Yeah. Is that one of the horses that you think can pull off the upset? I don't, I don't like any horses that were in the Derby. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm anti all Derby horses. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking at social inclusion. I'm looking at dynamic impact. I'm looking at Pablo Del Monte. Um, even looking at Kid Cruz, I thought he ran against, uh, he's a little slow on the numbers, but, you know, I think if you're playing gimmicks, trifectas, particularly superfectas, I think that horse can kick in third or fourth at a big number because I can see him just making a commanding curve type of move late and maybe bypassing the, the front burners and maybe kicking in second, third or fourth and maybe setting up a big number. I think that has the potential of being a, a, a huge parimutuel payout in this Preakness, and these are opportunities that guys like me like to pounce on, whether we're right or wrong. All right, well, best of luck. And you're representing the hometown. He's got his yes. Boston Marathon hat on. Boston Strong.